Adobe Illustrator is a vector drawing tool, which means you can create shapes and different types of paths using a series of tools. In this video, you'll gain an understanding of what a vector path is composed of by exploring paths in Illustrator with the Selection tool and the Direct Selection tool. To follow along, open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. To see all of the artwork out here, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. Start by selecting the Selection tool in the Tools panel on the left. Come out to the artwork and click right on this line to select it. This is a path. Paths are composed of anchor points at the start and end of a simple path, with a path connecting those anchor points. In a path like this, the anchor points control the length and direction of the path. Select the Zoom tool in the Tools panel on the left and drag across this curved path to zoom in. Then select the Selection tool in the Tools panel and click right on this curved path above the line. When you select a path with the Selection tool, a bounding box surrounds the path, allowing you to resize, rotate, and transform the path as a whole. In the Properties panel to the right, you'll see the properties of the selected path. Notice that there's a stroke applied to this path, but no fill. Click the Fill color, make sure the Swatches option is selected, and select a color. I'll select this blue. Notice that the stroke doesn't completely surround the fill. This path is called an open path because the anchor points on the ends of the path are not connected. To remove the color fill, choose Edit, Undo Apply Swatch. So you can see the anchor points that control this path. Select the Direct Selection tool in the Tools panel on the left. The Direct Selection tool can be used to adjust the path and the individual anchor points. This can give you control over the shape of the path after you've created it. Move the pointer over the top anchor point of the curve and click to select it. You should see these lines coming from the anchor point. These are called direction handles or control handles. Any anchor point you create can have these handles and it can be used to curve a path and control the shape of that curve. Drag the end of a handle and you'll see that the curve of the path changes. The last type of path you'll look at are shapes. A shape, like a circle or a square, is a closed path, since the starting and ending points of the path are the same. In other words, all of the anchor points are connected one to another in the shape. With the Direct Selection tool selected, click the edge of this circle. You should see the four anchor points that control the curve of the path. Move the pointer over one of them, and then click to select it. You'll see the direction handles that control the curve. Try dragging that selected anchor point, then drag the end of a handle, and you'll see the curve of the path changes. There are a lot of paths and shapes you can create in your Illustrator projects, and all of them are made up of anchor points, paths, and when necessary, direction handles to create a curve. Understanding what paths are composed of is a great first step to creating and editing your own artwork in Illustrator. You can close this practice file without saving by choosing File, Close. Adobe Illustrator has a variety of tools for drawing paths, including the Pencil tool for creating fluid, beautiful curves and straight paths. To complete the artwork for this project, you'll start by drawing with the Pencil tool, then you'll set some Pencil tool settings, and finally you'll finish the artwork for the ship out here. If you want to follow along, you can open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. Then to see all the artwork, choose View, Fit All in Window. On the left is artwork you'll add the final shapes to using the pencil tool. When you finish the ship artwork on the left, you'll drag it over to the artboard on the right. Select the Zoom tool in the Tools panel on the left, and drag across the upper left part of the artboard with the ship on it so you can zoom in. To select the pencil tool and begin drawing, click and hold down on the shaper tool in the tools panel on the left. If a window opens, you can click to close it. Click and hold down on the shaper tool again and select the pencil tool. To set the stroke color and the stroke weight for the line you're about to draw with the pencil tool, click the stroke color in the properties panel on the right of the document and with the swatches selected, make sure that black is chosen. Also, make sure the stroke weight is set to 1. The fill in this case doesn't matter, since the fill of the paths you draw with the pencil tool will be removed. To the left of the ship 
in a blank area, click and drag to create a curved path with the pencil tool. Drawing with the pencil tool is a lot like drawing with a pencil and paper. Even slight variations will show. To make paths you draw with the pencil tool smoother, you can edit the pencil tool settings. Click the Tool Options button in the Properties panel on the right, and the Tool Options appear in the dialog box. Drag the top slider all the way to the right to smooth. That way the paths you draw will look smoother. Click OK and try drawing another curved path with the pencil tool to see the effect. Notice how the path is smoother after you release the mouse button. Now you'll draw a part of the ship. You can follow these aqua guides if you like as you draw. Starting in the corner here, click and drag to begin drawing with the pencil tool and follow the aqua guides as best you can. When you return to the beginning of the path, a circle will show next to the pointer, meaning that the path will be closed when you release the mouse button. So release the mouse button to close the path. Notice that this corner down here really isn't a corner. With the pencil tool, you can also redraw parts of a path, even paths not created with the pencil tool. Move the pointer onto the path. The asterisk next to the pencil icon will disappear. Redraw the part of the path you want, finishing on the existing path. To change the color fill of the shape, click the fill color in the properties panel to the right of the document. Make sure the swatches option is selected and select this tan color. Now you'll drag to another part of the document. Press the space bar to access the hand tool temporarily and drag in the document window so you can see the aqua guides at the bottom of the artboard. Then release the space bar. Now you'll draw this shape, following the guides if you want. This time you'll see how to draw a straight line with the pencil tool. Starting here, before drawing, press the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows to begin drawing a straight line. When a line appears next to the pencil pointer, drag to create a straight line down here. Without releasing the mouse button, release the key and continue drawing along the aqua guide. When you come to the top line of the aqua guide, which needs to be straight, with the mouse button still held down, press the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows. Draw a straight line across the top. When the pointer reaches where you started, a circle appears next to it. Release the mouse button and then the key. To set the fill color for the shape you just drew, click the fill color in the Properties panel. Make sure the Swatches option is selected and select this orange. So you can see all the artwork, choose View, Fit All in Window. To complete the artwork, select the Selection Tool in the Tools panel, drag across the original two paths you created, and press Backspace or Delete to delete them. Then, drag across all the ship shapes to select them, and drag one of the selected shapes to the artboard on the right. Drawing with the pencil tool can be really fun and give you a tool for creating fluid paths easily. Like with all of the tools in Illustrator, take your time and practice creating in your own projects. You can save a copy of this file by choosing File, Save As, and make sure to give it a different name so you don't overwrite the original practice file. The Curvature tool in Illustrator is a great way to create vector artwork easily. In order to create the guitar artwork you see over here on the right, you'll begin by learning about the Curvature tool. Then you'll create a series of paths that make up this guitar, and finally you'll assemble the shapes in the artboard on the right. You can open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial if you'd like to follow along. Then choose View, Fit All in Window so you can see everything out here. To zoom in closer to this purple area on the left, Select the Zoom tool in the Tools panel and drag across it. You'll begin by drawing the body of the guitar here. So select the Curvature tool in the Tools panel on the left. The Curvature tool is used to create paths by clicking to set anchor points. Before you start drawing, in the Properties panel to the right of the document, click the Fill color, make sure the Swatches option is selected, and choose None to remove the fill. Make sure the stroke weight is also set to 1. The fill and stroke you set now will be the fill and stroke for the artwork you draw. 
The circles in the document indicate where you'll click to set anchor points for a path. Starting at the top, click to create this first anchor point. After you release the mouse button, move the pointer to the next circle and click to create another anchor point. After you release the mouse button, move the pointer away and notice that a curved path is created between these two points. Move the pointer around to get a feeling for how it's controlling the curve. Come to the next point and click to set it. Then move the pointer away again. As you draw with the curvature tool, you can edit the anchor points you've already drawn, maybe even moving them or deleting them. Come to the previous point you created, move the pointer over it, and click to select it. Drag that point to see how you can move them. Then drag it back to where it was. Come down here and click to create the next point, and continue clicking to create points around the shape. To close the path, move the pointer over the first point you created. When a circle appears next to the pointer, click to close the path and finish drawing this guitar shape. You can also create straight lines with the curvature tool. Next, you'll create the neck of the guitar using straight lines. Click to set the first anchor point here, then click to set the next point in the corner to the right and move the pointer away. Notice that the path has a curve. To make this path straight, Move the pointer over the last anchor point you created, double click on it, and then move the pointer away. The paths are now straight. You can also work faster by double clicking to create a point and make it straight at the same time. Come to where the next point will go down here and double click to create an anchor point with a straight path. Then double click to create the next point. Move the pointer over the original point you created and double click to close the path and finish drawing with straight lines. Now press the spacebar to temporarily access the hand tool and drag in the document window so you can